Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Prophecy of Bender, version 3.8.4. I'm Liz, and we are near Foxstead and Brandberg. We've been uh, taking the fight to Defeat's Vein recently. We've uh, demolished their army at Marleon's. They attacked us there. They tried to siege the city down. We joined the garrison, and we ripped them a new one. I think we lost, like, what, 20 dudes or something, and we killed like a thousand of them basically it was it was pretty insane is what it was i'm going to go now to herringoth castle and take a peek at what the garrison there looks like i think i was just there recently um hey there's lady boatus and yeah you know what marion's is being besieged okay that's good we're not gonna go there we're gonna go to marion's instead hey mercenaries come with me so Lady Boatus is the marshal right now. We should probably make her not the marshal since she has almost no soldiers at all. Yeah, that's fine. They can attack all... Are they going to come after me? Really? They don't usually do that when they go on siege. They usually try and enter the town or not enter the town. They, tr they usually let you come and enter the town is what I'm trying to get at. And then our mercenaries come and it's like, Hey guys, there's 900 more dudes here. Uh, how many is this? Is that 300? No. He's got one dude. And it's him. And he... Assuming he didn't have one dude, he only had three dudes in total before. I would have loved to get those prisoners, but I guess those Talboro farmers are about to get themselves some mighty nice prisoners. Come on, you can do it, farmers. I know you can do it. It's just him. Miss Mountain Tribes have sacked Poinsbrook. Oh, shit, Ravenstern. That could have been uh, Wolfboat, or it could have been one of the other Miss Mountain armies that was up there. Yeah, Ravenstern, Ravenstern, you in some trouble. Are they going to win this battle, or what? Okay, you know what? I didn't think I was going to make it in time. Okay, ah. yeah, there. They win right as I come up to help them. Boatus was taken prisoner. Well, that sucks. She's our marshal. Yeah, maybe we should have given uh, the marshalship to somebody who would actually be able to handle it for the time being. Anyway, let's head south. Let's go to Herringoth Castle. Let's just double check our, our supplies first. Yeah, I've got enough for now. We could probably have restocked at Marleon's. Remember, we did have to stop at Marleon's for a while, and we uh, we held on to all of our supplies there. We, we basically bought everything that was in, in stock. Uh, laying waste, that's fine. Lord Gaiden was defeated in battle but managed to escape. Lord Decimus or Decimus is over here. Also, nothing crazy going on. Herringoth Castle, some Black Cross Knights, Fjordsvane Heavy Archers, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely, definitely a castle that is tough with one of the garrisons that I have placed there. Seven squires, three knights. I guess that's, oh, four Valkyries as well. Although Lady Valkyries, that's the knighthood order, right? Valkyries are the non-knighthood order. Lady Valkyries are in knighthood order. So I would not be able to free those prisoners, I don't think. Hmm. Benetheim Greatswords. Intriguing. Marleons is no, under, no longer under siege. Yeah. No shit, it's no longer under siege. Jesus. Gotta take back all this land of mine that, you know, I garrisoned up and then handled like an idiot. Uh, Lord Marius is holding a feast in Shieldstorm Keep. Very good. It's good to see you there. Go, uh, go and hold those feasts in the keeps that I gave you. That's that's just great. Your keep is over here. Wonder what Lord Marius thinks of us. I mean, we could look it up, but I don't actually care enough. I'm just waiting for our mercenary company. Marleons has been besieged. Okay, no, never mind. We're not waiting for a mercenary company. We're going back to Marleons. I would like to fight a defense of this city, but our mercenary company is just going to scare anybody away. 329, that's Lord Marius right there. Yep, yep, that would be Lord Marius, all right. Come on. What you got, guys? What you got? You got a whole bunch of people here. Yeah, you're not going to ride into me. Okay, so we're going to go in. Yep, they let us in. That's cool. Let's go to the marketplace. Goods merchant. I mean, if I wait here, they're going to abandon the siege because they'll be like, oh, hey, there's, you know, hundreds more people here than we thought there was going to be. It's time for us to uh, abandon the siege. But if we move out over this direction a little bit 
and intercept our mercenary companies so they don't see them coming. And we just wait over here. We need we need to be in visual range though because I need to verify when they actually engage in battle and not just siege. So we need to be just a smidgen, digin, digin closer. Come on, there we go. That that's good. Uh, laying waste to Brandberg. They just love trying to siege and failing to siege Brandberg, don't they? Looks like we beat somebody and they beat us at the same time, which is, you know, brilliant. Under siege, but no battle. Okay, more people uh, being defeated. Come on, enter into battle. Who is this? This is Lord Antonius. Don't chase them away, please. I don't think you'd be able to chase them away anyway. Come on. And they're getting chased away. Oh, hey, look, we had a quest report to Boatus. Okay, so she was actually, you know, forming a campaign. We really need to do the ghost lady. We probably should have done that before we went to war. Laying waste, all that good stuff. I don't know why they... Okay, there they go. They're going to attack... They don't have the best prisoners in the world, but we will come up here and we will help him because, you know, reasons. Let's let our mercenaries join in on that too. Come on, mercenaries, you gonna join in on this? Well, you guys suck, don't you? I mean, we could take this without the mercenaries, we're fine. Rush to the raid! We have 390 against the enemies, a 484. This battle is going to take a little bit of time. It's a nice, uh, moderately sized one. Do I have command of his forces? I do not have command of his forces, so my people need to follow me. And we're just gonna have to, you know, work around his tactics. How is the setup? 30, 39, and 69. So we have a decent, solid number of forces in here. In fact, we literally have the exact same number of forces as they do. It's just split amongst both of our, uh, both of our armies, which is not a big deal to me. I am okay with that. Where are they at? Oh, there they are. I'm silly. I'm definitely feeling a little bit tired at the moment, but I'm feeling very engaged, very much I want to play. I want to play some Bendor. We're doing some awesome things right now. I, I love that we're conquering the known world, even if we are in this sort of almost mountain blade kind of lull period where it's basically the same stuff over and over again. We are, we are doing a lot of really good stuff, and we are just uh, washing the world in our colors, which is fantastic. You know what? I'm going to have my guys charge in here, and we are going to ride in, and we are going to cut some fools down. Also looks like our uh, our buddies are riding their forces in too, which is good. I backed out of that that uh, attack right at the end there, and I was like, if I have enough reach, I'll hit him. But I knew I wouldn't have enough reach. I was like, yeah, no, this weapon it already has reach issues. It's definitely not going to have enough to do what I'm thinking I might want to do with it. <laughs> But otherwise, this battle is mostly just going to be picking people off, and it's going to take forever because there's so many of them, but uh, when they get reinforcements, I can ride into the middle of their reinforcements and just, like, hack eight or nine of them down real quick. Like this! Check that shit out. Oh, plus all they have is these stupid shitty axes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No big long reach weapons or anything like that. No big heavy-duty massive heavy reach two-handed axes either. They do have a few uh, long axes, like two-handed axes that have a bit of reach to them, but not like the ridiculous reach super-powered ones. This might be a little bad, though. I'm gonna have to cut a horse down to get out of this. Oh no, I ended up being able to get right through their people. That, that's good. I do appreciate that, that we could just cut right through their people. Goodbye. See you later. That's a couple more. <laughs> I love how this this like cavalry group has just been circling around us this last couple minutes as I've been attacking these guys. They're just chasing after each other in a circle. We are taking a bit of damage because of our suboptimal actual 
you know, defense of ourselves right here. We're just moving in and swinging at people at the moment. So that's a thing. Hi. Did we get both of them? We did. We got the guy that we hit and the guy that we ran over. I like it. I love the Noldar crotch rocket for that. Well, we got both of them there too. <laughs> I do love this horse for that. I also love the um, the one that you get from Demonic Magni, what is it, the Netherworld Charger or whatever. I swear, you should be able to get that from Snake Halt as well, like uh, Anaconda Knights and whatnot. They, they ride it, whether you can get it from them or not. I'm not sure if you can, though. I don't remember if it's actually in their loot table or if they just ride it. Because not everything that somebody has on them necessarily has to be in their loot table. However, like adventures and shit like that, they they, they sometimes carry, um, well, they, they do carry um, various loot and gold bars and stuff like that. And they do appear in the loot table. That's the reason that they carry them. It's so that they can appear in the loot table. So if you kill an army that has like a hero adventure in the lead, you might get various loot or a gold bar or something in the rewards. Which is uh, quite the reward when it shows up. You know, it's an even better reward though, the Qualis gems that sometimes show up when you kill Demonic Magni. I think we've only killed one or two armies that had Demonic Magni in it. I know we killed one army with them in a siege. Like, we were on the wall, and the Demonic Magni were just charging up, and they killed a crap ton of our people, but we ended up beating them. Once we had them all killed, it was basically, that was it for their army. Nothing else really did anything to us. That's a 60! Can we get to the magic number, guys? Can we get to the magic number? I think we're going to. 7, 8, oh, 68. There we go. Magic number, ladies and gentlemen. 69. Let's, uh, let's get in here and just murder some fools. There are some Berserkers here. They could potentially do a lot of damage to either us or our uh, soldiers. So that's something we need to be a little concerned about. So, uh, Mountain Blade difficulties, guys. Want to, uh, want to have a discussion about that, specifically the difficulties that I'm looking to know about uh, for the people who play are, um, damage difficulties. What do you like playing at for damage difficulties in Mountain Blade? I've, uh, I've mentioned before that I'm not a fan of playing on full damage, full damage, just because I like, uh, I like the idea that your character feels a little bit uh, heroic and doesn't spend all day dead when you're playing Pendor. So I do often like, like, uh, a quarter seems like it goes a little too far, but like half damage and full damage for allies and stuff like that. I, I find those settings tend to be fairly fun. It lets you not have to be super defensive all the time. It lets you get out there and actually play the game. And it also uh, means that you don't spend half of the game dead. I know in vanilla, people tend to play a lot uh, lower. Like they tend to play quarter damage a lot because... Um, there is no such thing as continuing the battle after you die in vanilla. So you've seen a lot of times in Pandora here, if you're not familiar with uh, Warband Vanilla though, when you get knocked out in a battle, that's it for the battle. You could have a hundred soldiers alive still, and they could be like a hundred knights ready to go, ready to just demolish your enemies for you. And as soon as you get knocked out, the battle is over. It sucks that, you know, when you knock the enemy leader out, the battle doesn't end. But uh, once you get knocked out, it's just over. Uh, pretty much every mod in existence fixes that, because in my opinion, that is just absolutely broken, and it should not be that way. Um, but I know for that reason, a lot of people like to play on like a quarter damage on things like uh, vanilla. I don't know. I just, I just, a quarter damage feels like it's very, very low damage to me. It feels like you're you're kind of a superman. It doesn't feel like you're a hero. It feels like you're a superhero kind of thing, right? But I have been known to play on it a couple times when I'm looking for that uh, just devastating, demolishing, absolutely gut-wrenchingly powerful campaign kind of thing. But I feel like the sweet spot is really that half damage. 
territory. And probably full damage for allies. I mean, half damage for allies is fine too. But full damage for allies makes sense, I think. It can be really frustrating when you like lose your troops constantly for stupid reasons, but I mean, that's part of the game, right? Part of the game is losing your dudes and having to re-recruit them. So, whatevs. Anyway, I would love to hear what you guys think about uh, what kinds of damage settings are good to play Warband on. What you have fun with and what uh, what you like to play on. And also what you like to see. I mean, I often like to play games on extremely high difficulties. Like, you know, if we're talking XCOM, will be impossible difficulty on the old ones or Legend on the new ones. If we're talking... Uh, what was Mass Effect's difficulty? Was it impossible? Or insanity? It was insanity, wasn't it? Like, I do love top tier difficulties on a lot of things. It was brutal in StarCraft. StarCraft 2, that is. Definitely, uh, definitely enjoyed StarCraft 2 brutal for Wings of Liberty. I feel like Brutal Hearts of the Swarm was not a challenge at all. Like, Wings of Liberty took a couple tries on a couple missions to work out the tactic that I needed to uh, get through it. And then it's just a matter of executing those tactics flawlessly. It feels like Heart of the Swarm, though, um, it was uh, just build mutalisks. Until you, got, until you got mutalisks, it was just build, uh, just build zerglings. And then it was just build mutalisks after that, and you didn't have to do anything, and you just won brutal difficulty, just like that. No micro involved, no anything. Micro is never involved in the single player campaigns for being able to beat the brutal difficulties, but uh, like no, no other tactic at all involved at all. No uh, micro involved, no anything. Just build mutalisks and you, you, you be brutal. So at that point, I was like, yeah, you know, this is not like what it was in Wings of Liberty, and uh, I'm kind of disappointed in it, to be honest. And then it basically continued with. Uh, the Protoss expansion as well, what was it, like Legacy of the Void or whatever, where it's like, you know, this, this is just barely any kind of tactic required at all to beat this on Brutal, it's, it, it's silly. This was not Wings of Liberty level difficulty in that sense. And then Mass Effect as well, I had a lot of fun with Mass Effect on the higher difficulties. We actually, uh, the Mass Effect series playthroughs that we did on the channel here and on our Twitch stream were top tier difficulty, except for the first game. The first Mass Effect was on the highest difficulty that it allowed us to play on. But see, Mass Effect, the original, was one of those games that uh, didn't track your progress like online in the cloud and all that kind of stuff. So every time you played, you like every time you installed the game over again, you would start with you know initial progress. And in order to play on top tier difficulty in the first Mass Effect, you have to have beaten the game once first. And well, we have beaten the game dozens of times at that point. Um, as far as the game knows, we had never beaten it, so we were not able to play on max difficulty on that one. We played on the highest difficulty that it allowed us to play on, which was like second to max, I think. Um, but I, I had a lot of fun with that, and I, I'd like to know what people think about it. Like when I watch video games, I very rarely like to see people play on super high difficulties. And that's the reason that I don't do it when I play for YouTube, um, because, like, wh why do we play Veteran in XCOM? Well, because it's, you know, annoying watching people play on on, on Legendary. Like, I, I, I do enjoy a lot of the personality of some of the Legendary uh, YouTubers, like um, Xavier and all them some of the internal beta testers, uh, but in all honesty, it's it's kind of lame at the same time. So 125 kills for us there, like it doesn't feel like they're playing the game, it feels like they're cheesing the game. Like it feels like all that people who play on top tier difficulties usually do is exploit mechanics and not actually play the game and have fun with it, right? So I, I don't know, it's, it's one of those weird opinions, <laughs> but who knows? I'd like to hear what you guys have to think about it. We had 110 kills, 15 wounded. Those must all be from riding people over with our crotch rocket. That's that's pretty nice. Also, 447 total for the enemy side lost. Lord Antonius, your elbow there was most valuable. Yes, I would hope it was. Dude managed to escape. This guy loves us. 
You have fought well, you are free to go, sir. What did we get? We got some Gazi stalkers. That's cool. Coo coo coo. Um, I don't think I want any of those guys though, and we will just, you know, take all of the freaking prisoners we can. We actually got a lot of prisoners for that battle. Uh, because, you know, we we did pretty pretty amazing. Let's get rid of this Sarleon Skirmisher and this uh, Empire Light Infantry and we'll take these two fears of noble women because they are nobles and wow, our forces are depleted again. Oof, that's really annoying. Does anybody want any of this stuff? No. Nothing is worth equipping. <laughs> and nothing is worth taking so that we can sell either. Fantastic. I love it. Some soldiers are ready for upgrade. Who? Other than like companions, because it's almost all of my companions are ready for promotion. Uh, that would be maiden cavalry. That's three new maiden adventures. What are we at for maiden adventures now? Then uh, six. That's it. Well, I guess they are dying rapidly. That's fine. Squires at arms. That's going to be a knight. Pendor squire can be a pendor knight. Very good. Leslie is good. Anson not promoted yet. That's fine. No big deal. Cool. Let's head back into Marleons. That was a long battle. I uh, I kind of wanted uh, we're we're gonna get into the point where we're going to be hardcore sieging down stuff now, like even more hardcore than we were previously. And we are literally just going to siege castle after castle after castle. And I'm gonna be cutting large portions of it out. Like I'm still gonna include a lot of these fights, but we are going to be cutting large portions of these sieges out. So hopefully I can get four or five sieges into a single video in a lot of cases. And the other stuff that happens where Titus has escaped from captivity. Well, you... One of your prisoners, or Titus of Kingdom of Pendor, has escaped from captivity. So he was a Dashar lord. He was an empire lord. Then he joined the Dashar. Then after we defeated the Dashar, he joined us. However, he was a prisoner when he joined us, so he was our lord and he escaped from our dungeon. Sounds too legit to quit to me, right? You know what? We are going to head to Ethos. I know that was for Sez, not Ethos, but we are going to head for Ethos. We are going to replace Boadus as Marshal because um, her and her, like, what, 40, 50 dudes? Actually, nothing because she was captured. Marleans is no longer. Yeah, we, we have to watch out for those sieges as well because that's a possibility hey nice to see you guys okay who's here maybe we should make marius or leifwin we could totally do leifwin or leiric where's leiric is he around no he's not i mean if we could see leiric we can find out what he's got leifwin is not our brother leiric is uh that's Cassim. Cassim has 222 and Lord Alamar, actually Alamar, we could totally do Alamar. Alamar can be the marshal. He was Duke Alamar previously, and he was probably the marshal numerous times for Sarleon. He should totally be able to handle it, right? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt about it. No doo to booty. He should be able to handle it. Lord Fabius don't want you there. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of people who basically have nothing. And I, I'm okay with that. Let's go to the castle. And uh, is there a heart bequest here? There is not a heart bequest here. Okay. Lady Bernatus. I wish to replace Lady Boadus as marshal, and I would like it to be... Who? Lord Alomar? Are we sure we want to do this? Yes. We want to do this. Lord Alomar. Congratulations. You are now the marshal. Number of people like us for it. A couple of them who had negative opinions of us before. That's fine. And that is all for now. All right. So basically, all we did in this video, I understand, was to have one really big battle. But we got we we got to see the whole battle. And the reason I wanted to do like one big whole battle right now was because, like I say, we're gonna go into uh, siege mode. And I think siege mode is going to be like rapid, 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 like just burn away some of these castles and uh, take their shit out. What the fuck is... My mouse is not working. My keyboard is not working. I can see the smoke at Foxstead. I can see the smoke at Asgard. So...
I don't know what's going on, guys. Um, I guess I'm going to cut the video here, and we are going to get this fixed, and I'll be back in the next one. <laughs> I'll see you then.